Hi everybody, I can see that some people are struggling today with the My Math Challenge on properties of triangles. I just want to run through and help you out, presuming that most of you have looked at the um, have looked at the um, lesson already. Let's just go through the first page is a lot easier, I felt you had to input the correct unit of measure to make the triangle correct. So six centimeters this side, it's an isosceles, these pair, this line shows me that they're the same length, so that's six, straightforward, equilateral. These lines here just mean the angles are the same. You may not have seen them before. So if that's side seven, all sides must be seven. This one's a little bit fun. Right isosceles is quite unique because we've got a 90 degree angle here. I know the whole thing adds up to 180. So I've got 90 degrees left to share between these two angles here. They're equal, therefore I'm gonna half it to make each angle 45 degrees. Fab. Down here, isosceles, this shows me that these angles and the line here are the same. So you can see where they've come off to join to make the same here. So if this is 32, his friend up here is 32 as well because I know it's an isosceles. And that would make this one a different angle. Okay, a perimeter down here, you've got to find a scalene with a perimeter of 22. So a scalene, all sides different. I know it's all sides different because I've got one, two, three lines that are different here. I'm going to call this one, this looks like the biggest one, so I'm going to go with that being 9. I'm going to go with this one here, let's say a little bit smaller because I'm going to be different, is 8, that's 17 altogether, which leaves my little one down here as 5. Okay, let's just check if I've got those right, Mr. F. Fab, well done, good start, Mr. F. Now, the second part was a little bit harder. For each triangle, decide whether it's impossible, you have to put an X, but if it is possible, S, I, or E for scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. What you have to do, you have to go and just check and read this carefully here. This is in the lesson. It talked about what um, perimeters were possible. These were possible because the two shorter sides add up to more than the longest side, okay? So let's just think about that again. The two shorter sides of a triangle must add up to more than the longest side. That would make those that don't impossible. The two shorter sides must add up to the longer side. Well, let's get the easy ones out of the way to start with. We can see that we've got an equilateral there, so you can put an E in there. Any more equilaterals, Mr. F? No, this one's going to be a really tricky one. Okay, let's try it then. The two smaller angles, do they add up to? Six and eight are the two smallest ones. Yeah, they add up to more than nine. So they're all different, so I'm going to call that a scalene. Let's have a look at the two smallest ones. Four and five, do they add up to more than six? Yeah, so that's also all three different, so that's a scalene. Four and four are eight. Doesn't add up to more than eight, does it? So it can't be a proper triangle because the two shorter sides don't add up to more than the longest side. So that's an X. Two shortest ones here, 2.5 and 1.5 is four, doesn't add up. So that's gonna be less than 6.5. So therefore it's not possible. Let's come down here. Okay, the two shortest sides are two and two. That makes four. Is that bigger than the longest side? Yes, it is. So that is possible, and therefore it's got two sides the same, which is an isosceles. Two and one, mm, is that bigger than six added together? No, it's not. It's not a possible triangle. So you're going to put that as an X. Two shortest sides, four and one, is not possible because it's the same. It's Four and one adds equals five. It's not bigger. So again, that's going to be an X. Now here's the moment of truth, Mr. Flowers. Did you get them all right? Yay, got them all right. Let's have a look. Got them all right. So thinking about applying that principle there, guys, if you're not sure again. So remember, if the two shorter sides are not bigger than the biggest length when they're added together, the triangle is not possible. Give it a go. Go back to the lesson if you would like to and have a go at the topic again. Good luck.